Oh, you're not talking to me. If I can feel the way I'm feeling right now, how much more if I fully lay hold of my destiny? In other words, something is going to happen. Some of you are here now and you're thinking, I- I'm as weak to take my life. It's not working for me because Paulina is living good. It's like my destiny is slow. And all the guys on, on the other side of the sea, they are making millions. I heard that news of, of what is happening in Australia. <laughs> Am I taking this somebody? I heard the news of what is happening in Canada. They make a lot of money, but I'm staying in New Zealand. Oh, am I talking to somebody? But God is saying, you position yourself because even in this country, I will do something with you that those in Canada, in Australia, have never experienced before. I'm going to make you a sampler. Am I talking to somebody? It's not about the location. It's about the God of the location. Oh, the God in Australia is the God in New Zealand. The God in America is the God in New Zealand. If you don't believe in this great God, he will give you a great things. Am I talking to somebody and you're wondering why is it not happening? It's going to happen if you can see what God is about to do. Oh, put back your knife. Put it back now. Don't cut your throat because God is about to show up. I said don't cut your throat because God is about to show up. One more time, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. You may not be seeing, but you got to see with your legs and see with your food. You can see with your physical eyes, but you can still throw one leg. If there is no pit or pothole, you throw another one. No pit, no pothole, you throw another one. You are not seeing, but you can see with your leg. By the time you know it, you cross the other side of the sea because of your fear and some of you here are part to cross the other side of the sea no hell will stop you no wickedness will stop you no pharaoh will stop you every pharaoh in pursuit of you will sink in that red sea because you're crossing over in the name of jesus anyone that is pursuing you in this season I see them sink in the name of Jesus I see Pharaoh and all his cows sink in the name of Jesus you Pharaoh you are tired you Pharaoh I come tonight to you it's your time of termination in my life because God is about to terminate you and your power in the name of Jesus God is removing pulling the wheel from off your enemy if you're here right now the enemy may be pursuing you it look like they have upper hand over you they are speeding after you but God is removing their wheels I say God is removing their wheels in the name of Jesus they will drive furiously into the river they will die in the Red Sea I am prophesying to somebody whatever that is pursuing you we die in the Red Sea whoever that is pursuing you we die in the Red Sea I'm talking to somebody right now they are about to sink in the Red Sea but I see you crossing over tell so somebody I cross over tell so somebody I'm crossing over I am crossing over I am crossing over it doesn't matter what they say I am crossing over I am crossing over in the name of Jesus I slay every judgment in the air every demonic judgment coming against you I slay them in the air 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 in the name of Jesus I call them their wings I call them their wings I call them their wings whatever every unclean spirit flying over you I say I call down their wings I call down the wings of unclean spirit unclean powers unclean utterances unclean statement be made over you I cause it in the air and I slash it in the air I slide the throat of the wicked ones in the air in the name of Jesus it is your time to shine I say it's time to shine I say it's your time to shine you've been carrying that burden the burden is heavy the pain is
is heavy. People just see the mask. You know, no one can understand where you are with the Lord. Because you look bright in the outside. You look glorious in the outside. They don't feel your pain. But only you and your God knows what you carry. The, the pain you've been experiencing. Even though you're smiling. But you know you're going back home to face the same problem. Hannah was always going back home to face barrenness. She always went back home to face criticisms and mocking from Penina. Even though she came to the place of worship. And Hannah we worship and worship and worship. But she was thinking, I'm still going back home, Lord. I'm going back home the same way I came. Why, Lord? But she did not know that whenever you are about to give birth to your prophet, God will take time to prepare your womb. He takes time to cleanse your womb. He takes time to prepare your person so you can be able to handle the person of the prophet. She didn't know that God was preparing her, preparing her womb and maturing her character so that she will be able to hand over her Samuel whenever Samuel come. If Hannah did not struggle to get Samuel, she will not hand Samuel over to God. Hello, somebody. Can God allow her to go through that so that when she finally gives birth to that baby, she will know indeed this baby came from the Lord. It's not because I had a relationship with my husband, it's because I received him of the Lord. And so God allowed Hannah to experience that. And when God had finished working in the womb of Anna, preparing the womb of Anna, he released Samuel into his womb. And even before Samuel came, and I said, God, I know you're looking for a prophet that will represent the people, the hearts of, uh, of a life. You're looking for a man after your own heart. If you give me this man, you need a man and I need a son. You need a prophet, I need a son. If you give me this son, I will give you a prophet. And Hannah, Hannah, when the son came, Hannah, and Hannah knew he was not just a son. He was a prophet of God. And I receive it from the Lord. I'm going back to the temple to give him to my God. But I tell you, if that son had came earlier, Hannah would not give it to God. Some of you are going to experience a mega miracle, a mega visitation, a mega shift in your life. Because God wants you. When you receive it, you will know that this mega thing didn't just come by out of man. It was something that God inserted in your womb. The Holy Ghost said that somebody is about to give birth to something. Amen. Say you are about to give birth to something. Amen. Somebody is about to give birth to something. I receive. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel it on the air. Somebody is about to give birth to breakthrough. Breakthrough unlimited. Amen. Breakthrough unlimited. Oh, Thank you, Holy Ghost. Turn it to prayer. Turn it to prayer. Kalabosa. Helabosa kata. Leba kata kutuka. Leba second take. Somebody turn it to prayer. Pale ketuka paya dagada. Haya baba. Pray. Give God to your miracle as you pray. Some of you are in a level pain right now. You are traveling right now. But as soon as Israel is in level, the Bible says she will give God to your soul. And the Bible says, have you seen anything like that before? Some of you are in labor already, but your labor is not going to go far any longer. You are about to give part a soul. I say you are about to give part a soul. You are about to give part a soul. You are about to give part a soul. I'm prophesying to somebody. You are about to give part a soul. Some of you are in labor already. Push, push right now. Push right now. Push. Push your baby will not die in your stomach. Somebody push, push through prayer, push through prayer, push through prayer, push through prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Haya bobosa, kata kata kata. Somebody push, somebody push, somebody push, somebody push. It's your pushing time. It's your pushing season. It's your pushing hour. That is a prophetic grace on the air. I want you to tap into this grace. Tap into this grace. Tap into the grace. Tap 
into the grace, grace of prosperity, grace of favor, grace of breakthrough, grace of soul winning, grace of lifting, grace of exhortation, hallelujah, grace of promotion. God is lifting somebody. God is lifting somebody. God is lifting somebody. God is lifting somebody. somebody. You are lifted. You are lifted. Press in prayer. Press in prayer. Press in prayer. You are lifted in the name of Jesus. God, nothing stop you anymore. I said, nothing will stop you anymore. 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 Somebody labor and push. You are already traveling. You are already in labor. I want you to push. Somebody push. Somebody push. Lord, we take it by force and by fire. We take the source. We take the source of men in New Zealand. We bring them to Jesus. Begin to take source for Christ. We push the boundary of this nation to a place of glory and the place of greatness. We push the boundary of this nation. We push the boundary forward. Mighty God, let the sword of the Spirit oh, travel around the city of this nation. Begin to cut down witchcraft. Father, let thy spiritual sword begin to cut down witchcraft. Let the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, cut down every witchcraft that's come against Auckland, come against King's Mercy, come against New Zealand, come against the families that is represented here. I release the sword of the Spirit. We cut down hindrance, anything that is hindering the glory of God in this church, hindering the glory of God in the life of God's servants. We cut it down. 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 Kata, 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 kata. Began to, began to welcome people into the church. The doors are open in the spirit. Command them to come in. The drug addict, the alcoholic, the sophisticated, the rich, the poor. We call you in from the west. We call you in from the south. We call you in from the north. We call you in from the sea. We call men of destiny. Men with a speaking destiny. Women with speaking destiny. Oh Lord our God. We call in greatness. We call in favor. We call in healing. We call in oh God. Mighty manifestation. Let there be a mighty revival. Somebody pray. For a mighty revival in Auckland, beginning with King's mercy. Oh Lord our God, we declare a mighty revival. We command the earth to be free. We command the clouds to clear it. In the name of Jesus, we command the stoppers of destiny to die. In the name of Jesus, every stopper of my destiny any stopper of my destiny I bury you in the name of Jesus I bury wicked inclinations I bury wicked utterances I bury wicked gossips I bury wicked tongues in the spirit way I push back the boundary I push back the boundary somebody push it's your time we push back the boundary in the name of Jesus Austin Hello, Boston. Declare favor. Declare favor in the spirit. Let this atmosphere become infectious in the spirit. Lord, make it infectious with miracle. Infect this atmosphere with grace. Infect it with anointing. Infect it with oil. Oil of favor. Oil of breakthrough. We call those things that are not as though they we are. We call finances in. We call favor in. We call source in. We call breakthrough into King's mercy. We call favor in. We call buildings in. We call Lord everything that is good for life and godliness. We call it in. Promotion. Oh God. Academic excellence. We call it in. Turn 
Linda Bahada. Let it pour that. Pot, 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 pot. Atmosphere, pot something. Healing. We call healing in. We call healing in. In the name of Jesus. Rababo, say, K, K, K. We call healing in. Somebody call healing in. If you're sick here, the hand of the Lord is on you. The hand of the Lord is on you. Healing. Healing. Healing power. Healing grace. Somebody press for healing. Press for healing. I command your bones to be strengthened. Your knees to be strong. Your blood says to receive power. Receive healing. I command whatever that is not working in your body to begin to work. Lord, turn this atmosphere into something else. Let the yakra presence come down. Let the glory of God come down. Let the mind of God come down. Oh Lord my God, let something we've never witnessed from today but at. Lord, but something. Lord, but something. Lord, but something. Lord, but something. But, 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 but. Receive your miracle. Halababose. But something, Lord. Present, present, present. Let the Lord visit you. Let the Lord visit your head. Let the Lord visit your family. Let the Lord visit your person. Let the Lord visit your being. Let the Lord visit you. Whatever burden, whatever pain, whatever rejection, re reject the rejection. Reject every rejection over your life. Whatever that I've rejected, you reject them in the spirit. Reject rejection. Reject fear. Reject intimidation. You are feared to be feared. The Lord is turning you into the fear to be feared. Let something new take place in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you're sick, please come out very fast. I'm going to just touch you. If you're sick, come out very soon. 